啊，是可以的。这样吧，这种，啊，这种，就是我的手机，是的。哦，嘿，我操嘛！哇，对，我不过。Maybe you should build in some cooperation in this new application, or be remote. But this is going to fish. Oh, so what does do that? Yeah, it's still quite dark. Should light a little bit. Have these leaves. 
Oh, and as you can see, there are, there's nice lighting, there are shadows, and uh, everything just works. It's the whole idea behind it. And somewhere here, hidden behind the tree, there's still a fish swimming in the air. As you can see, the shadows of the trees are also interacting with the fish. Okay, now start with the other one. You see water now, or is it starting to get too dark? <coughs> ah, sorry. It's a bit uh, bright. Okay, you could paint light if you want to. Like this one. Clear it. Ah, there you go. See, you have a mountain coming from the water. Ooh. Maybe I put a little bit more light in like this. Ah, there you go. Right, you can paint uh, whatever you want. And the cool thing is this, this whole paint tool is almost like a Photoshop or something. So what you can do is you can apply all kinds of tools. So I've, I did the experiment with some filters. So I have a smooth filter, for example. Just go over it and smooth it out like that. Or if I say, well, this is a bit too smooth, I can add some uh, Perlin noise to it, like this. Well, a little bit of noise. Then, uh, for example, if I want to have a nice plateau at the top, I do like this. Flatten it. This is an ideal tool for uh, creating roads, for example. You can make like, a small road that goes up the mountain like this. Wow. And then, uh, let me see what they have with Sharpen. You have some places where you want to increase the, the contrast of the height map. Um, let's start with the standard map. Well, you can see the water here. I exaggerated the, the depth effect. But just to show you, we can do volumetric rendering. The, the water fades out as you get, get deeper into the water. So everything is in real time and dynamic. Like this. And then we have some really cool uh, color painting modes. What you do is you just paint textures like this. So now we have some rocks here. If you start painting here, you add some detail and some noise. At some point it starts to get really realistic. Uh, let's see here, some more rocks like this. Mountains here. Mountains over here. Then uh, maybe uh, just do some flattening. Voilà. A nice edge here. Voilà. And of course, uh, it all works very well with the lighting. Like this. And of course, all these techniques are uh, compatible with HDR rendering and stuff like that. But for the demo, I uh, didn't include it. Let me show you more filtering. Oh, this is smoothing. It's, uh, it's very nice for creating landscapes, and during development, you find out that it's also really dangerous to have something like this because you've spent like maybe an hour just painting for fun instead of working. So. <laughs> but uh, here, the, the main features I want to show here is just landscape rendering, the sunlight, and then of course the volumetric rendering. And what we're also going to do, we're going to combine all everything together so you have the shadows from the tree on the landscape in combination with the cross rendering and stuff like that. The cross is not in there yet. So this concludes the demo. And, uh, now I can uh, answer some questions. Somebody has a question? Yeah. Is there a level of detail? Yes, there is level of detail. It, uh, actually, if you look closely, there's a lot of jittery going on. I was too lazy to fix it, so. But uh, I can fix it quite.